welcome to System Shock 2. In this update, we will tackle Deck 1, Engineering. Also, this one guy right here really needed his boost bad. You're now on the Engineering Deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This will restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I... I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know, I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Who is that? Delacroix? Sanger? I guess we're not gonna hear much about this guy anymore. So, welcome to the coolant tubes. They really weren't kidding when they said that this place was a radiation hellhole. This is Xerxes. The coolant tubes are off limits to all personnel. To avoid possible detention and execution, please respect the will of the many. We That's what I'm making out of your many Xerxes. There's no way that you're stopping me at this point. If I made it all the way down here, things are surely going to get better with time, right? Besides, to hell with all of the coolant tubes, I'm just here in order to restart the engine, so it's not as if I need to bother about this. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. Okay, what did I say in the past about things looking a little bit too easy? Yeah, I really should have been careful. Keep your eyes open. You must find a way to purge these coolant tubes and get into the engine core. The ship must have some kind of backup system in place for just this kind of situation. Do you have a red hypo? I'm so sick. In all this part of the game really doesn't suit the claustrophobic people out there too well. This entire place is full of really tiny tunnels, there's patches of it which are irradiated so you have to be careful in order to make it so that you don't go into these sections, but for the most part the radiation patches are not too big so they're usually pretty easy to avoid. Oh, and my strain boosting implant just gave up the ghost once again. I'm not sure what secrets you and your new buddy Captain Diego have got going up on deck 3, but I intend to find out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Okay, no hybrid got the jump on me while I was reading those audio logs. And it's a good thing because there usually has a lot of hybrids in this section of the game. You do not know that death only change. We cannot kill each other without killing ourselves. I'm sure this is all is just your vision so small that you cannot see the right those robots also have a huge explosion radius. These guys are not to be messed with, but thankfully we have a psi ability that will make our dealings with them pretty much painless. More on this later whenever we'll fight them again. But yeah, these protocol droids were built just in order to hack as butlers for rich families and corporations, and instead we just get jerks that self-destruct in your face. Your intentions may be kind, but your actions are vile and pernicious. So, right now, you're pretty much about to see my most stupid decision in this entire playthrough so far. Security system offline. I'm shutting down security, but the thing is, I need to go back inside the coolant tubes because I still have unfinished business left in. And there are no cameras or any security devices in them, so right now, I'm essentially just wasting a whole lot of time. And finally, I guess this is also kind of stupid. I didn't need in any kind of way or manner to go into those huge patches of radiation because I could have just circled all over the place instead, but hey, you know, 
too late in order to go back and try something else. All in all, the coolant tube is not my favorite part of the game, but at least you get this kicking music while you're going in. The music has always been kind of a polarizing issue with this game. People either love or hate the soundtrack, and the people who hate the soundtrack usually think that it's because it ruins the tension, but I don't really agree. You must move faster. Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Keep your eyes open for Utility Storage 4. I've laid in some supplies there. The passcode is 59004. Got to get to death. The many demands the termination of this exchange. We regret it. I have no clue how the hell that pipe hybrid managed to miss me in such a narrow hallway, but I'm thankful for it to happen. But hey, when I was saying that this place is a breeding camp for hybrid, well, you pretty much got the proof positive right here. So before I take the time to listen to any audio log, I figure that I should clean the place out, because who knows when I'll finally get attacked. So I had received a passcode from Dr. Polito, but unfortunately it's for storage room 4 and not 5. It's kinda strange that you get the passcode for storage room number 4 here. Alright, that should be it for everybody. Now I can finally take the time to listen. Before I couldn't get rid of those jarheads from the Rickenbacker. Now I can't find one for love or money. That creepy OSA guy followed me around for two months until he got the hint. Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. Anatoly. Must open up the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triumph, it's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. Why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? So apparently, something that they found onto this one planet made it so that they shut down an entire deck? Okay, I'm really looking forward to Deck 3 now because. Hopefully I'll have some better ideas to what I'm fighting against. And of course, this game has a map system, and this is one of the parts of the game where you'll be thankful that there is a map indeed. I for one always get lost whenever I get into this part of the game. But yeah, that's why it's weird that you get the passcode for the storage room number 4 here, because this tunnel just leads to a dead end, and by going into this direction, you will never get to the storage room that you need to go to. Storage room number 5 will come into play much later, and we're certainly not gonna find the passcode in this place. Now listen carefully. The Xenomorphs who have hijacked this ship are presumably from the surface of Tau City 5. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They've also demonstrated the ability to control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft, understand them, then kill them. Of course I get the hazmat suit whenever I'm done with the radiation-filled tunnels. But it'll be handy whenever we'll be back here, and it also protects you against toxins as well. So, yeah, it's a good thing that I disabled security at the time that I did, right? Because, well, I certainly encountered a whole lot of cameras as well than turrets. Delacroix was right. This ship was not ready for prime time. Okay, the automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm gonna head down to engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. So there is a workaround in the end, but what are we gonna need to do in order to get to that workaround? At this point, I'm not a soldier, but I'm a repairman. This is Xerxes. Due to the recent confusion, there will be a ship-wide census tomorrow at 0900. All personnel, please report to the common area of Deck 5 at that time.
I love how come Xerxes goes from simply blabbing about the glory of the many or whatever it's supposed to be to just providing completely harmless public service announcement about the ship's activities. We cordially invite you to the dining hall at 12.30 and we will club your brains. Glory to the many. Okay, there's a whole lot of gun... F okay, gunfire everywhere except where the enemy will be. God, get me out of here! I've recorded a lock to this room. Maybe that will hold them. I'm heading to cargo... To cargo bay 2. Come find me there. Okay, so I guess that cargo bay 2 is where we need to go next. But for some reason, I don't think it's going to be any safer than here right now. Oh, whenever you find armor-piercing bullets that are that easy to find, that's never a good sign. Because that usually means that there's a turret in the way. It's a good thing that my hacking managed to stay on for as long as it needed in order to take care of the... Oh, fuck me. I'm not gonna have time to destroy two turrets in 14 seconds. That's madness. That's madness, but it's time to be mad because otherwise I'm gonna be dead. Because those are laser turrets and they deal a lot of damage. Okay, I need to hide. Security system Okay, as long as... Oh no, I didn't want you here right now. But yeah, see how hard those turrets hit and how fast the lasers are? Okay, I guess this hybrid also learned about it as well. I don't know how the hell that happened, but I'm thankful for it. They always shoot lasers in sets of three. After they shot the third laser, you have some time to counterattack. Turrets do have a significant weakness. They track very slowly, so it's your cue to take a speed booster in order for them to make tracking pretty much impossible. And we have our first portable battery in the game as a reward. You can use them in order to recharge any energy-fueled items such as implants or energy weapons. I like how come they made a barricade of boxes in order to try to get away from that... Oh my god, there was a security station all along. I could have just shut down security from here instead of just going through what I've just went. Oh, my inventory is full, but I need to make some room. Well, that's one way to make up room. Recharge your implants that makes you stronger so that you can carry more stuff. And we finally made good use of the surgical key that we picked up in the medical center on deck 2. Now we can go back and heal here whenever we want. Due to the tenuous situation as of late, I've ordered security defense turrets placed at key locations. Yesterday one went off accidentally and critically injured crewman Wells. However, somebody must have tampered with the Xerxes security subsystems, because now my technicians are unable to take them offline. Until we get to the bottom of this, I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage. But now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall. Go to hell, Bronson. Why did you think that these millions of turrets will solve anything? So, time to invest all of the modules that we found into the maintenance tunnels. I had just put a point in energy weapon because, as a general rule of thumb, what will cause you the most problems into a psionic playthrough is machines, so I will put myself points in order to use laser weapons because these are the most efficient weapons for taking out robots. Okay. Rule of thumb, whenever you're ready to move to a new area, don't go and investigate outside sources of noises. It's a terrible idea. I mean, I don't care that you get free drinks for doing so, no, it's a bad thing to do. And yeah, whenever you're a psionic agent, never drink booze because you will heal a point of damage, but you will lose 3 psi points. And here we have it, that's the end of the maintenance tunnels. The next place that we have to investigate will be the cargo bay in order to figure out the code to the fluidic control room. But first, here's a log that I missed because of my hurry. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns? The berserk turrets are our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to fluidic's control. I'm gonna make my way over to cargo bay 2 to find her. This is indeed what we will do in the next video.